Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Art Jarrett. All right, good morning to you. Let's start off with satellite and radar. Most of this is uh, moisture being pulled across from the southeastern portion of the California, working across the Central Valley, the Central Coast as well, and then swirling right back up along the northern tier of the coast of California. And it's going to edge right back in again. We're going to see that moisture being pulled around. You're going to see variable winds today coming out of the south, working into the Monterey Bay, going southwesterly, then west, getting back into the Central Valley. It's going to stir up some of that fog and smoke that's already in place, and we're going to see more of that swirling wind locally here. Here, but we're also going to see more of that in a confined space once you get into Gilroy, of course, Morgan Hill and working into the Bay Area. So expect swirling winds or call it variable winds if you like. Uh, we have a lot of smoke in California. There are 30 wildfires burning currently and all that smoke has been moving from east back to the west. Now we're going to start seeing it go from southeast working its way through our area and then working northwestward out of uh, California and then continuing to swirl back around again as I've shown you with the winds. We have air quality currently this morning that is pretty much in good air quality. Uh, we have moderate conditions by King City, also just around Santa Cruz as well. It's about moderate. We have good air quality just when you get up to the top of the summit. Now we do have that fire that is over the Valley of Bunyan fire that is over in Gilroy and the smoke uh, today will be swirling. So that means the expanse of that plume will start to spread out more so uh, in a grand circumference about maybe one to two miles away from the fire and then getting carried away eventually with the swirling winds. Hurricane Irma, as we have already told you, is now a category five hurricane. That is a major hurricane. We're seeing we could see winds getting up to at least gusting up to 213 miles per hour. Sustained winds are 175 miles per hour. You can see it, it cuts across the Lesser Antilles getting right into much of uh, say Haiti all the way over into Cuba and then swirling right back to the United States getting into Florida where it's going to just uh, skirt along the Keys and work its way up north. I think it's probably going to wind up getting into parts of the peninsula but probably hitting Tampa St. Pete and then working its way up Lake Okeechobee and you can see it's still working into Jacksonville and then trying to curve back around with the area of high pressure. High pressure is what stirs most of this going on and right now high pressure is helping to stir a lot of the atmosphere. We've had it capped a bit with a lot of smoke and haze and all this is going to continue to work northward here kind of moving up along the coastline and we're going to see more of this moisture still holding on to much of the coast as it comes back again getting into the latter portion of the week by Saturday. You'll see more moisture getting closer and closer to California. 60s, 70s and 80s eventually as we get into the day. 90s eventually you see 84 in Ben Lomond, 78 in Monterey, 79 in and Big Sur. We start off this morning in the 60s and we're going to expand all the way up to the 80s for the inland side with temperatures getting up into uh, 87 to 88 degrees. Tonight we load up the clouds again, clear to partly cloudy skies in the morning and then we'll see more of that fog come in in the morning, which is nice. That's one of the gifts I've been telling you about. 60s, 70s and of course not much change going on with temperatures over the next couple of days. You can see that all across the board until uh, the weekend until we get into the 90s again.